Hi guys, Katie Vibes here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I got one of these things that you put around your neck like a dasso and then it's kind of like like a POV, you know, point of view where you're like viewing it from my like angle, I guess. Um, but I could not figure out a way to get this to work. Like it's super like easy to bend and everything. Like as you can see, like it just does whatever like you want it to when it comes to, like bending. But I just couldn't get it on in a way that would work properly. So I don't know if it's because my arms are too short maybe. I think my arms are normal length. I don't know. I think they're average. But yeah, it's just like it was either the camera was constantly in my, my eye, my line of sight, geez, uh, no matter what I did. But I just couldn't get it in a way where it looked good, where you could actually see where I was putting my hands and stuff. So I actually had to wear it on my head, like up here, like a headband. I probably looked so ridiculous, but it was the only way to make it work. And even then I had a little issue. So yeah, I'm gonna refilm this video without this thing. It's a good thing I only paid $2 for it. And um, yeah, so, we're gonna redo this video. I'm gonna try and keep it really short because I'm doing this all in one take while I work on editing the other two videos that I actually have in the works that I'm, uh, well, like actually gonna edit and stuff. So if this is your first time to my channel, I promise usually my videos are edited. Usually I'm in the video. Um, I just, I'm doing something really quick and simple just to get a video out there basically. Any hoodle, McNoodle, let's get into it. This is just gonna be pretty much a random lot of stuff that I got. I just got all this stuff yesterday. Uh, one of those things is this Care Bear. It's a posable figure still in the box. Unfortunately, you can see it is still, well, it is still, it is very yellowed. I don't know why I said still, it just is yellowed. It's not supposed to be, it's supposed to be clear. So I was wondering if there's a way to get rid of this and replace it with a clear plastic. Um, I'm, I'm sure I could figure out, you know, if I can find one that's like this exact shape and then take it off of a back card of something. So I was thinking maybe like going to Dollar Tree and finding something that was this size, but it's actually like really thick. Like look how thick that has to be because it goes all the way to the back basically. So, I mean, it's, it's really thick. So I don't know. I have no idea how I'm gonna go about that. Uh, so if anybody has any ideas, any suggestions, please let me know. This is from 1984, I believe. Yeah, 1984 is the last date on it right here. And then you can see these are all the other figures that you could have gotten. There's a total of 15 posable figures. So there's that. We also got this Teletubbies VHS. Teletubby stuff is pretty hard to come by and it sells pretty good. So anytime I find it for a good price, I definitely, definitely snag it. I think only once I found something Teletubbies and I passed up on it because it was a plush and they wanted like $10 for it, which for a thrift store is batshit insane. But hey, that's what a lot of thrift stores are doing now. It's a big thing a lot of people are talking about. Maybe I'll make a video on it and actually go to thrift stores and show you guys and be like, hey, this is what it used to be. This is what it is now. Because holy shit, the one thrift store that I go to quite often Oh my god, I, I, yeah, there's some things I should have taken pictures of last night while I was there. But anyways, so we got this huge bag right here. So these three dolls I got in it, I'm probably just going to throw these either into the yard sale pile for this one. If it doesn't sell in like three or four yard sales, I'll donate it. This I'm going to touch the paint up on, and then this I'm also going to keep. So I'm going to keep both of these and probably put them on my toy wreaths that I'm making this year to sell. And then, okay, we'll get to that bag in a minute. So here's all of this stuff, and I kind of organized it. So here we have this very hairy <laughs> Ariel. Um, so I know people are probably like, ew, that is so gross, it's hair. But have you ever thought about it? Why are we so grossed out by hair, like other people's hairs being on things? I understand when it's on food, like, yeah, that's kind of gross, because, like, you don't want any body part, like, at all on your food. But... When it's on like a toy like this, like why are we so grossed out? It's literally just hair. If this was on the person's head and she had like really pretty hair, like people would have no issue like going up to their friend and like touching her hair, right? But then if it's on like something, it's super gross for some reason. It makes absolutely no sense. I do not get it, but I think it's kind of funny because I even do it. When I first pulled it out, I'm like, ew, all this hair. I actually was trying to pull some off and look at this. <laughs> I didn't know her hair went up like that. Like, it made me laugh so hard. Like, she's a conehead. I discovered the secret of how they make their hair look so poofed and good and just amazing. It's because secretly, they are all coneheads, guys. I, I uncovered the secret. Anyways, we got some adorables over here. So we have Princess Aurora, just two different versions of her. We've got the... Queen of Hearts. I don't know why she's so much smaller. Like this, even this Aurora is bigger than the other Aurora, but this one's like really tiny. 
Then we have Jasmine in purple though, instead of her typical blue attire. Got this adorable Experiment 626, AKA Stitch of course, but I think he always, like when he's in like alien form, I think of him as Experiment 626. Although that would probably upset him, I guess. I think he wants to be Stitch, not an experiment. He's so cute. I have a Stitch tattooed on me if you didn't know. Can you guys see that? Ugh. Is that not even on the camera? I don't know. I'm not editing it, so let's hope so. <laughs> it's obviously not done, by the way. Any Hoodle McNoodle. Here's a monkey. Can't remember what it's from, but I do recognize it. I kind of want to say, like, I keep wanting to go to Kung Fu Panda, but I know it's not Kung Fu Panda, right? Like, there's no way. I don't know. I just recognize it. <laughs> We've got Peter Pan right here. I think he's super adorable. I was actually thinking of keeping him, but no, I need to let stuff go. So there's Peter Pan. This, however... Dumbo with a little face paint, uh, super cute, um, and I need to keep it. Even though I just said I need to let go of things, I think I'm gonna keep this one because it's so stinking cute and I was obsessed with Dumbo as a kid. So it makes sense, so there's Dumbo. Then we've got this banana split. I believe this is our generation. I could be incorrect, but I do believe it is. I love all the detail, even in the bowl. And just, but oh, what is this? I am so confused by this. It's supposed to be like a banana peel. Like, do they just, like, leave one peel in there? Like, that, it just, it doesn't make any sense. Like, it is so confusing to me. I just genuinely do not understand what that is supposed to be. So there's that. Then we've got a bunch of popsicles, like, a bunch of them. So we have this, the iconic orange cream popsicle with the double sticks. They get snap in half. Then we have this little, this reminds me of a Magnum bar. If you don't know what they are, they are so freaking delicious. Oh, my gosh, but so overpriced. They're, like, $5, and you get, like, four mini ones like this big it's crazy for popsicles i don't think they're popsicles or ice cream bars but yeah there's that and then we have some of these now i am doing a custom g1 pony as well as a g3 pony that is going to be dessert themed and instead of just like regular hair it's going to have charms so i'm probably going to keep at least like three or four of these popsicles for customs whether it's for those specific customs or if i come up with a different one i kind of have this idea for like seasons and i think a popsicle would be really cute for like a summer themed one i could even do it as a cutie mark if i want to do just regular hair i don't know i'll figure it out but i thought these were really cute and i'll definitely keep some for customs then we've got some actual ice cream cones and again, I'll probably keep one or maybe even two of them for customs. Then we have this. This is actually doll sized in my opinion. This is something I could see like an our generation doll having, just like the banana split I think is the proper size. Even the popsicles, I guess, like they're, they're a decent size for a doll. We have these tiny little snow cones. Now these I think are too small for a doll, but too big for a Barbie. So most likely, unless like they're meant to be a set and I have the other pieces to the set, then yeah, I'll keep them to sell it with the set. But otherwise, I'll probably keep these for customs. I haven't decided. So if you do want them, let me know. If I say I'm not decided on something, you can totally let me know you're interested and I will most likely sell it. So all of this came in this little bag together. So I'm assuming these are meant to all go together. I could be wrong, but I do believe... Oh, and we have this Slurpee. Thought that was kind of cute. Where am I going? I don't know. Over here now. Oh, and this. Oh my gosh, you guys. I I messed up on saying this a billion times when I originally recorded the video using the like neck thing, the point of view thing. I don't know what to call it. Um, I called it like Dirty More and like just, I, just so many different names. It is called Dinty More. It's a beef stew. It's by the company Hormel apparently. So Hormel I have heard of, like Hormel Chili. I have never in my life seen Dinty More Beef Stew though. Have you guys ever heard of it? it? Even has like a little thing on it, which I thought was really cute. It's a nice detail. Like it is very detailed. It's definitely one of those very realistic food minis. And also in that same department would be TGI Fridays. Awesome, awesome, delicious restaurant that is way overpriced. And it actually opens, if I can remember how to open it. <laughs> Step one, open the box. Do not let the box beat you. Why is it so difficult to open? Because I'm an idiot, that's why. It has little pot stickers in it with a little sauce. Isn't that cute? It's actually very detailed as well. So I thought that was really cute. This I could see being Barbie size. This feels like it's too big to be Barbie size. So it's like that weird in between. Anyways, oh, and this. Another thing that's like a little too big to be Barbie. I could see it being rainbow high sized or OMG doll. Oh, LOL OMG doll is what I'm trying to say, because this is Rainbow High. So originally I'm like, oh, it's Rainbow High because it says sparkle. 
Uh, yeah, told you I was an idiot. It literally says Rainbow High on it. So that, what was that? <laughs> I don't know what that was, but ugh. anyways, uh, ignoring that, yeah, it says Rainbow High on it. So definitely Rainbow High. And this has that very same, like very familiar size. Familiar? That was not what I was trying to say. Just the same size. And same with the Dinty More Beef Stew. So I feel like for an a, oh my goodness, Rainbow High Collector or an LOL OMG Collector, these are all good sizes. So this is that set. So you get these little trays or, I don't know, I guess trays, right? What else would you call them? So they're just individual trays. Then you have these little bowls. You have a bell that doesn't actually do anything, unfortunately, although that's probably a good thing for parents because that would be so annoying if a kid just ding, 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 over and over. And it does say our generation on it. So you can see it's an actual branded thing. You got a couple things of gelato and a spoon which i think goes with this although i have no idea what this is i'll get into that in a moment you have a ladle although this could be for barbie because i just feel like of course something fell something always falls in my videos um this looks more barbie size to me in my opinion i could be wrong this could be for our generation dolls i don't know maybe i'm just like not remembering the size of our generation dolls because this just seems so small even this seems too small for me like this seems okay but I don't know. Anyways, got some chocolate sauce. Chocolate sauce. This, I don't get what it is. Like, it, oh, it does say our generation. At first I thought it didn't. So it has like these little legs on it. So obviously it goes this way. Is it supposed to be a, a, a like a napkin dispenser? That's the only thing I can think. Cause like this doesn't come out. It doesn't open. This is the same color though. So it definitely comes from, like from the same set. I don't know. It just I guess it kind of looks like a napkin dispenser, like you'd pull here, but wouldn't it be this way then? I don't know. I don't want to keep thinking about it because I'm thinking about it too much. Then we've got some ice cream sandwiches. These look doll sized to me. So we've got the typical chocolate chip one and then the chocolate one. We've got some hot dogs, two hot dogs and three hot dog buns and the hot dogs do come out. Ah, if I can get it out. Eh, why am I struggling so much? I'm just bloop back into another one. And we have a hamburger that's missing the best part, the hamburger. She got all this this stuff and nothing else. So that's pretty, pretty disappointing. Wow, it's not even focused. That's great. So there's that. We've got this cake, half chocolate, half vanilla cake. And you can pull off the slices. It is missing two of the strawberries. But I think I'm just going to construct those with polymer clay and attach them. I think it'd be pretty easy to do. Although I say that and then I actually try and it looks like shit. Then I've got a single shoe. I do keep my single shoes because I can sell them as a lot. People that buy a ton of dolls or people that customize dolls, I notice buy them a lot. We have this really messed up Starbucks cup. I don't know what the hell they did to it, but it's like like, I don't know, it kind of looks like it had, like, one of those um, paper thingies around it, like, to help with the heat. But then it looks like they also, like, painted it. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on there. It's messed up. I'm going to try cleaning it, but I don't have much hope. Well, then we've got a little spoon for a Barbie. Little golden spoon. This cute little horse, perfect Barbie size, whether you want to do it for, like, a kid's toy or you could just put it on a shelf, like a little collectible. We've got these two elf on a shelves. This one's going down a chimney to help Santa, and I think this one is popping out of a cake. It is the only thing that makes sense to me, so that's what we're going to say. Super cheap purse, very, very cheap plastic. I think it's an off-brand, uh, so yeah, this is probably just going to get donated or in my yard sale pile. Same with this little doll right here, most likely just going to go into the yard sale pile. These, I think, are rainbow high. I could be incorrect. I will definitely look it up. Somebody separated the zipper, so I'm going to have to struggle to put those together. So that's going to be exciting. This looks like an OMG LOL doll shirt jacket thingy <laughs> cover slip. I don't know. Uh, because I've seen it, the same one, except it was blue instead. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's OMG. We've got a Barbie cup. And, oh, there's a Slurpee that I dropped. And lastly, for $2, I got all this stuff. I got one of these vintage 101 Dalmatians that you got from McDonald's, I believe it was. So I've got a bunch of these. I'll sell them as a lot. The bag I actually got for these two dolls, because these actually sell for good money. They're the vintage Fisher Price Loving Families dolls. She's very dirty, as you can see. Also has some scuff, so I'm going to have to repaint a couple of areas. Just some touch-ups. But totally worth paying $2 for just these dolls alone. 
And then I also got these in there. So this, I don't think it's really worth anything. I'm gonna see if it's a poly pocket. If so, I'll put it like in a lot with other stuff. If not, it'll go on my toy wraith. It needs to be cleaned. This, no idea what it's from. I don't see any identifying marks on it. it needs to be fixed with all these little scuffs right here. Again, um, I'll either put it on the toy wreath or if it's worth something, then I'll sell it, but I don't think so. And lastly is this newer Barbie from McDonald's. This is from 2017. And I'll just throw her into my lot of other McDonald's Barbies from over the years. And that is literally it. Again, my videos are usually edited and stuff and a lot better than this. I just wanted to do a real quick video just to get something out for today while I edit my other videos because I'm super busy today. So I probably won't be able to edit until late tonight. So I won't be able to post until tomorrow or the next day. So just keep an eye out for that. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because if you don't, you get bad luck for five generations. You don't want to do that to your kids, 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 okay? You don't want to do that. It'll also affect your kids and your kids, kids, and your kids, 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 okay? So... Don't do that. Just subscribe. It's the best thing you can do, so do it. Uh, you can hit the bell. It'll notify you when I come out with a good video. And check out the links in the description below, including my other channel where I just did a video showing scenes from the final episodes or the final moments of each main character in Breaking Bad. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, have a good one. Bye.